the Fed has been doing its best to disempower workers. And uh, workers' wage gains have gone up uh, over the past couple of years. Uh, it is starting to level off a little bit. The uh, worker participation rate, we should be clear now, for the prime rate of like a, 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 a age, 25 to 54, is now uh, a significant, I think, higher than it was in 2019 even. Uh, so the, you know, the whole... Uh, people are being lazy, this and that, uh, of course, um, uh, turns out not to be the case. Uh, but here is Fox contributor Brian Brenberg uh, responding to the recent jobs report. So you are seeing some signs of cooling in the labor market, and that's important because the president's going to get out today and tout his 12 million, 13 million jobs. I got to tell you, that's not telling the whole story right now. A lot of that is filling in from the pandemic. The real job gains have been much more modest than that. In fact, by some measures, we're still a million to two million jobs below where we should be right now because so many people are sitting on the sidelines. Yeah. They're not participating in the economy. And that's just it. There's okay, a difference. Between so just to be clear. A, so many people are sitting on the sidelines and not participating is not the case. No. Uh, there are some people who basically retired early and it's tough uh, to get back into the job force. You know, you, you retire at age 58 to get back in at age 60, 61, uh, uh, tricky. But the idea that uh, participatory rate, again, it's something like 80.9, I think it is, for uh, people 25 to 54, and that is high. Uh, and um, that is the, the prime age. And the other thing is like, um, why wouldn't you get credit for, uh, for creating jobs when all these jobs have been lost? <laughs> Uh, like, what other opportunities is there to create? Well, we saw this with Obama, right? Like, <laughs> yeah. the recovery was a lot slower, it, it, yep. it, right? And, and yeah. I, I mean, and, and it, it's like their primary purpose on Fox is to maintain the general advantage that Republicans have in, like, collectively in the U.S. on the economy. Every poll for decades has always said the Republican Party is better for the economy. And so that's a, a strength that they hit on regardless of the facts. Um, As a propaganda outfit, more to this? that's what they are. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah, we can keep going. We're still a million to two million jobs below where we should be right now. Oh, pause it. Also, the, the other point was like it should be. Not Some hypothetical number this guy has yeah. in his head. Um, yeah. Unemployment but, is just a couple of ticks away from where it was a couple of months ago, which was the lowest in 50 years. Continue. Yeah. Much more modest than that. In fact, by some measures, we're still a million to two million jobs below where we should be right now because so many people are sitting on the sidelines. Yeah. They're not participating in the economy. And that's just it. There's a difference between a job recovered after a pandemic and one created. Another fact I imagine. We just spoke to David Dayen about how the Inflation Reduction Act is directly right now, its effects are being felt, um, and that manufacturing plant construction has doubled in this country. Um, that is going to be just new jobs straight up. Same with the uh, dozens or over a dozen. I don't know, have the figures in front of me. Uh, semiconductor plants currently being built like I mean these aren't even my politics that I think are <laughs> massive wins or going to be seismic shifts in, in income inequality or something like that but that's the facts and supposedly the kinds of politics that like a center-right person would approve of, but it's Biden doing it, so it doesn't matter. It's wild, like, we have to use these infantile metaphors, like, sitting on the sidelines. Like, that is, like you said, like, because actually it's too, it's too real to say, like, oh, there are people surviving without an income in a, in a society that absolutely wants to punish them for that. Yeah.